Today, a first look at the MagSafe gear from Moment for video and photography. Learn how to turn your smartphone into a professional quality video camera. Be sure to check out our mobile filmmaking courses, master the Filmic Pro app, or color grading in LumaFusion, and learn about smartphone video and cinematography. Now including audio production too. And also don't forget, we have a companion filmmaking podcast. Links are in the description. So for those that don't know, MagSafe is a magnetic system and mainly it's used for charging your phone. So it's a magnetic connection within the device that then you can connect to power to charge it. A similar version of this has been in Mac laptops and now it's in phones. And the phone you have to have to make this work is an iPhone 12. This is a 12 Pro Max. And so this is great. It's an easy way to charge your device. But now people are taking the MagSafe concept and taking it a step further. And so that's where Moment comes in. And these are pre release versions of these MagSafe accessories. And so basically what this is, is what they call a pro tripod mount. So you can now mount this onto your phone and connect a tripod. And this one even has a cold shoe on it. So you can connect a microphone or a tripod or a hand grip. This is a handle from Bscript. And so now that quickly you're ready to shoot. So you can detach it. And so you can easily carry this stuff with you. And again, this would work for video or photography. And I've got a second one here. This one is the same thing. It's just got a longer stem on it. And so that way you get a taller shot. And here's a tripod. And so now your camera is set up and ready to go. This could be great for YouTubers, for vloggers, for anyone really, for shooting video obviously, or doing photography. So I don't have a second 12 series phone, but you can see the size difference here of these two MagSafe tripod mounts. Smaller one, larger one. And then for those of you that want to shoot in vertical mode, I don't know why you would, but there's some of you out there I know. That's a joke, but I get it, social media. That spins to the side. And then you attach it like that. So now you're set up in vertical shooting for photography or video. And this little one here will do the same thing. Now, if you're afraid of your phone falling off here, I'm gonna read from Moment's website. This mount includes our proprietary M-Force magnet array, which is even stronger than standard accessories, giving you extra confidence your phone won't fall off. Well, that would be a concern for sure with these, especially considering these phones are expensive. Now, I will say that it feels fairly secure. I wouldn't feel concerned about moving it around like this. However, probably an obvious thing to say, this wouldn't be for very robust use. I think this is for more casual use. If you're a filmmaker, you might just have this with you in case you wanna grab some B-roll or you know use for your family videos and that kind of thing. If you're doing anything more involved, you probably wouldn't use this. Although I would say if you locked it down, you could easily shoot an interview or again do B-roll or any kind of YouTube content where you're not moving the camera around a lot. If you're gonna be moving the camera around a lot, I would get a different setup. So here's a small little microphone. Slides in the cold shoe. Tighten that down. And now you got a way to shoot audio. And then here's a little LED light. This is the Aperture MC. Same thing, put it in that cold shoe, tighten it down, and now you've got a light that you can use. And so everything I've showed so far is with just the phone, no case. So you might be asking, what about a case? Does it work with a case? And the answer is yes and no. 
This is a traditional moment case. It's just the regular thin case. I can feel the magnet grab just very slightly, but it does not actually work. And so this case, their traditional cases do not work with MagSafe. I've had this case for quite a while. I got an early version of it and it's been great to have to work with their lenses, but it does not work with MagSafe. And so the MagSafe cases are separate and they are, if not available now, coming very soon. But the nice thing is I actually do have a case that works. If you've seen my previous review of the Polar Pro, Light Chaser Pro, this is one of my favorite cases and I've been using it pretty much all the time as not only a filmmaking rig, but as an everyday carry case. It's got a really robust setup too for moment lenses or any kind of bayonet mount lenses. This is made out of metal right here. And so if you're a filmmaker, I would recommend checking this out. But now let me show it with the MagSafe. It's a Polar Pro logo right there where the Apple logo is. And there it is. So if you want to use MagSafe, be sure to get a case that is compatible with it. I've only had this MagSafe gear for just a few days, so I have not been able to thoroughly test it out. But my initial feeling is kind of what I said at the beginning. This would be cool to have and use for more casual type stuff or times that you're not moving the camera a lot. But this is really nice to have to carry with you in your backpack or just ease of use is very nice. Right now at the time of this video, you can pre-order these. They're not shipping yet, but they should be shipping at the end of March. That's March, 2021, depending on when you're watching this video. So this is just the beginning of MagSafe accessories. And I personally think it's pretty cool. Look forward to seeing where they go in the future. And who knows, maybe there's been talk for a while about losing the lightning port. So maybe MagSafe connectivity would take the place of that in the future for charging, obviously, or maybe even audio. But what do you think? Will you be getting some MagSafe accessories? Let me know in the comments. Well, thanks for watching guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.